What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. But I wanna do a comparison between the iPhone SE, which is the 2020 edition, and the last year's best Android device, in my personal opinion, at a budget price, is the 3A XL. Now I'm gonna talk about build quality in both. I'm gonna talk about uh, the performance. I'm gonna talk about videos and photos. I'm gonna show you some videos that I shot on it and really kind of give you my opinion on terms of the price point. So yeah, let's talk about the build quality. From the iPhone perspective, it looks like a very small footprint iPhone. Now this particular edition that I have is the red edition and I actually got it borrowed it from Kevin the Tech Ninja, so big shout out to Kevin there. But it has that familiar type feel and is a very small footprint and brings back the home button that's in the middle of the screen. For me, this screen is way too small, just way too small as it is. Uh, I don't really like the footprint. I do love the fact that it has the, the button on the front, but I got really used to the fact that I had face unlock on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So the footprint out of the SE eh, doesn't really cut it for me. So it still feels great in the hand. It's, it's plastic. It has the lightning port at the bottom, has the speakers that also fire at the bottom. It also has the speaker that you would normally see is this looks like an iPhone from about five years ago. So if you like the fact that this is an iPhone from about, I don't know, three to five years ago, you're really gonna like the way that this looks, especially since it comes at a $399 price point. So this is definitely something that could get you into the Apple ecosystem for a fraction of the cost. Uh, and, and yeah, it, it look, looks like an iPhone. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say. And you get to the 3A XL, and the 3A XL has the big top forehead that you see with the upper left-hand corner actually having the ability for a front-facing camera. You turn it over, and has the normal glass backing that you see in the normal pixel style, but has a single lens at the top. So it's two single lens tuners between the iPhone SE and the 3A XL, but it has that familiar fingerprint scanner on the back, which is amazing and I miss it. And it's rumored that the 4A has it and I love it. Um, not to say that the 4XL doesn't have great face recognition. I just really freaking miss having a fingerprint scanner on the back. So it's lightning quick and it works. USB type C, again, a lot of the same aesthetics as you've seen before. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you this, but in my personal opinion, if you're going for a really small, maybe a kid friendly device, Size-wise, it's gonna be your iPhone that fits, but if you really like the real estate of a big screen, the 3A XL is definitely kind of the way that I lean. So everything you see here is filmed on a switch pod, both phones side by side. Uh, all the stabilization and everything that you see is here. Both phones on the front facing camera, 1080p, 30 frames a second, but the iPhone SE does have the ability to go 4K, 60 frames a second on the back facing lens, whereas the 3A XL does not have the ability to do that. It does do 4K 30 frames a second or 1080p at 60 frames a second. And I'll show you both sides here really, really quickly. The phone SE 2020 edition actually has the ability to go 4K 24, 30, and 60 frames a second on the back camera. Whereas the Pixel 3a doesn't have the ability to do that. Everything you see here in both lenses are shot 4K 30 frames a second just because I want it to be a fair comparison. And as you can kind of see, this is a sideways hill that I'm walking on again switch pod in hand trying to make sure that I can get both but this is what the stabilization on both looks like additionally there is no microphone here I am using the internal microphones that you see on both devices which means the audio that you hear in both is just the microphones themselves out of both devices so leave a comment below and say which one sounds better I'm not gonna do any post-production or anything like that might boost the gain a little bit now here is one thing I do want to say about the iPhone SE when it comes to the portrait mode on this particular device. It gives me like this feature that says, I can't find a face, I can't find a face, where I have tried to put it up against the sign or anything like that to try to get that blurry, bokeh, creamy background. And honestly, in the portrait mode on the iPhone SE, I cannot get that thing to have a portrait mode or a blurry background on anything other than a face. So that is a huge miss, or I might be missing out on it, but for whatever reason, I cannot get the bokeh to work. It just doesn't recognize the fact that portrait mode could be used for something other than a face. Whereas the Pixel device has zero trouble with that. And I'm gonna show you in some of the photos here using portrait mode with both. So yeah, in terms of which one I prefer in terms of the video and the photos mode, straight up from a photo perspective, I like 
the three AXL hands down. I like a little colder photo. I like a little more contrasty photo. But I also like the ability, if I'm in a low light situation and I want to use night sight, I have the ability to do that on the Pixel 3a, whereas in low light or no light at all, the iPhone SE, it, does, it doesn't have it. You don't have that setting. So those folks that might be used to, to being able to take those really cool night shots with the iPhone where you can see it slowly, slowly get brighter and brighter and brighter and then take that image, you don't have the ability to do that in the iPhone SE 2020 edition but you do have the ability to do that in the 3A XL from last year's model. From a performance perspective, the Apple iPhone is just going to completely be amazing because it has that new Bionic chip from Apple. So putting it through its paces, opening up videos, shooting in 4K, playing a few little games here and there, it never slowed down and never chugged once. But I can also say the same thing when it comes to the Pixel played some games recorded in 4K, not 60 frames a second, and it never really chugged or broke down at all. What's even more interesting is the fact that I have the Android 11 beta on this and it still never chugged down or slowed down and I had no issues at all. So I'm running beta software on this, comparing it to very much production software on the iPhone. So from a production perspective or performance perspective, both function perfectly for me. From the battery life perspective, I actually like the 3A XL because we all know that it was a battery champ from last year. And while this iPhone is no slouch, uh, the 3A XL, I was able to really use the whole bright screen, fully utilize it the way that I want. And it just chugged through the battery life, no problems at all. It was basically like sipping at it. And arguably it could be the same for the iPhone, which gets me to the conundrum of which one of these do I pick when I'm doing a comparison. Both of these are 399, the price points are exactly the same. Performance is great, battery life is great. It still comes down to the fact that it's an ecosystem thing. If you wanna be in the Apple ecosystem, you can get in for $400. Um, there's probably some specials running on these right now, but regular list prices, $399 to get into the Pixel ecosystem. Now, both have their points and minuses. I prefer to be in the Pixel ecosystem, but I absolutely understand why people get into the Apple ecosystem. iMessage, FaceTime, yada, yada, yada. The comparison that a year old model 3A XL definitely hangs and probably wins in my book because of my personal opinion over a brand new iPhone SE 2020, yeah, I would rather pay the 399 and get the 3A XL because it's got some newer internal parts, even as compared to the 2020 edition of the iPhone SE. So that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Leave a comment below. We'll see you next time.